I, I can honestly say, I think hand on heart, those boys didn't let us down. You know, I can, I can imagine going to the game, 20, 25,000. Some of them were probably nervous, but you know, it looked like they, it didn't phase them. Um, they came out of their shells. A few of the boys carried really well, kept to our systems. Um, Tom Cowan, Nahum, you know, one of the first times they stepped out on sort of that sort of arena and they just adapted. And on the other end, you've got someone like Max and Orlando now, they're just shining and coming through and, and really progressing. So it's, um, it's great to see, and, you know, you can't even forget you and Rich as well. My God, like his, his line break through the middle and an opportunity to keep the ball alive. You know, these are just moments and produce from our, from our academy, so it's great. Playing in front of that big crowd, it was, uh, I was obviously a bit nervous before I came on. When I actually got onto the pitch, it's, it's kind of more just a rugby game, uh, so it's less, less daunting. But yeah, it was a good experience, I really enjoyed it. Obviously, I missed my thing at Science straight out of school, uh, so I thought I'd go, go to uni. And um, so I picked Loughborough, so it's play some, train some good rugby there through COVID. And, um, and then I was lucky enough to get the call, the call from Lils, um, just for a few injuries and international duty. He said there's a spot open up at Bath. I was a bit nervous coming in, um, but everyone's everyone was really really nice. Tom Ellis helped me out a lot. It was it was a lot of work, um, kind of adjusting to, to train that level. But yeah, I think it's everyone's been really been really helpful for it as well. The opportunity for young players, obviously, up through COVID, went down. Loan systems went, so it was much harder. The A League we had went. But so this opportunity for the young players is is great. Boys who haven't played in quite a while finally getting getting out there because they're all itching to play. I know I'm itching to play. Absolutely, and show off how hard we've been working here at Farley and really really put that into practice. It's a great development opportunity for all of them, and I think with the say the starting group that's been playing five, six, seven games, whatever it is now, they get to step away, give opportunity for these young boys to you know, kind of take the reins, um, understand and feel the pressure going to Queen's Arm in front of however many thousands. And also they, you know, some of those boys hadn't had any opportunities to play rugby. So it's, it's just a great, great opportunity for them to play, showcase their skills, hopefully show, you know, the learning and understanding from our game, what we're trying to develop here and yeah, give the other boys a rest and hopefully those boys will shine and, and start challenging the, the older boys. The development side of these games, I think, is the key point, which I think is brilliant because all the younger players get really get their chance. I try to think of it less as an audition because if you do get fewer chances to play, it can end up feeling like that. But I'm just going to treat it like every other game I've played for Bath, and I've had some good ones in the past, and so now I can have some more good ones in the future. I've said probably hasn't been many opportunities for quite a few of the, the young lads. I, I was really lucky with. In injuries and international duty to get my call up. So I think this Prem Cup will really help us play at like a level that we can, we all can show ourselves um, and kind of give us that exposure. Obviously, Ryan and Lils are our under 18 coaches in our first year, so they introduced like that next level of detail. And obviously, they're now first team coaches, so they were pretty class at their job. Um, so for us to get that that coaching when we were young, um, really put quite a few of us in, in good stead for the future. At the moment, my role is, you know, amongst skills and support and Dave with the attack, um, but it's a great opportunity to, you know, to take the reins, design training, make sure design practice is good, make sure that we're, you know, linking our meetings to the messages and what we want to get on a Saturday, uh, on Friday night. So as a development tool, it's, it's exactly what we need. Um, and then we can then reflect in a couple of weeks time and go, right, where do we go wrong? How can we get better? Um, so yeah, all round I think for youngsters and us as coaches, young coaches, it's a great, great game. Got the likes of Danny Cipriani here now, whose knowledge is just incredible. They're still helping us in the backs meetings, helping us with the clips, analysing the other team. And that's huge for us because they could just take a step back and just be like, no, oh, this isn't our game, you got, this is your guys' thing. But they're not, it's a whole club drive, which is amazing. So they're giving us loads of advice and help, especially to the younger lads. They, they've been really key and if we have any questions they're, they're really happy to kind of encourage us to ask them just just so that we are we know we know the roles tom's pretty key on the lineouts for me um i because i've never really jumped in the lineups before so he he kind of got me up to speed and helped me out a lot with that 
And then I think Miles and when Sam Underhill came back in, um, those two helped me out quite a lot in defence, just how to get me to back nets or their, their level. So if you think every, you know, every Friday or Saturday when we send like 23 players, there's a wider squad that are there watching games. You know, they've been supporting in the week, they've been competitive, trying to put their, uh, their, their stake in the ground and, and going, yep, I'm here. That might not have always been a clean or an opportunity for them to play. Um, you know, we've got a, quite a, a large amount of internationals. So internationals being away, some injuries now, um, you know, it's a great opportunity for people like Gabe Hammer-Webb. Um, you know, he's had a bit of rough and a bit of smooth in terms of his injury and, and opportunities to play. But now, no doubt if he goes out there and expresses himself and owns it, he could be in selection for, you know, two weeks time against Exeter. So great opportunity for those wider, wider squad players to really put their put their name to the sheet. I'm one obviously wants to push myself and focus on myself and my career, but to have the people who I love play with, them achieve as well is huge to me. Every week is, is push. I'm always knocking on that door. I'm always trying to get my chance because this isn't a game of patience. Patience is key obviously, but if you wait, if that's out of your control. I need to control the things I can do, which is train, how I eat, sleep, and make sure all of those are top so that I have a chance of really competing with the likes of Will Muir, Rocco, Joe and Ant when they're fit because that back three is a really, really good back three to get into. That's what I want to do.